Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me, James. Hope you guys are all doing well and I'm back with another City Skylines episode and our challenge to reach a goal of a population of 100,000. Today we're going to be experimenting with the university's DLC and again it's not a DLC that overhauls the game it just adds some additional micromanagement and we're going to go over some of the stuff that that adds and it's much the same as the Park and Industries DLC. It's certainly not essential. I do have a university down from the original pack already but we do need some more educated citizens and it's going to unlock some different types of building as we're not playing in a sandbox we're kind of playing with the challenge and uh, there is a little bit of micromanagement still this is quite a patient game and just a bit like painting really we're just flying over the top of the zoo which we started in the last episode and hopefully I'm going to get a few more points and we might be able to add some more things in there and then maybe start doing some detailing at some point. This is our current university. Now I've just stuck this down to hopefully keep the tourism industry going. It's not had too much of an effect. It has kept some of the buildings going but we need more students first. Okay so I'm going to leave the university here that we have got for the time being until we get our other one built. As you can see, we've got a population of 25,000 now, and uh, some of these buildings just need educated workers and more visitors. So we need to expand a bit, get some more people in. Now, I wasn't happy with where I placed the train station last time. I've got a lot of wasted space there, so I plan to put that somewhere else. And when things aren't running right you keep on having to go over the city and knocking some of these derelict buildings down so that's our zoo there doing quite well just need another couple of points in there get a few more visitors and we can add some more attractions in there so now plans for placement of the university i was thinking about putting it here right right about this city just just here because the other option we've got is across on the other side of the island but I feel there's going to be more of a population here so what I want to do is I want to put a key around the outside and do some terraforming and I'm going to get rid of this roundabout because it's really wonky so I'm going to sort out some of the terrain and uh, put some foundations down so let's do that Okay, so we're not far off 28,000 and I've put a bit of detailing down. I've moved the train station and I've put some trees up against the highway and across the tracks there just to divide it up. And that helps as a sound barrier as well. So we should be hitting our next milestone any second now. Here we go, capital city. And with that, we unlock our university campus area. So I've prepared some space for it. Uh, we've got also some additional things. There's so many things that you can unlock, especially when you've got all the DLCs. And add the Steam Workshop to this and the possibilities are really pretty endless. Um, as you can see, I have had a problem with the death rates. We had some death spikes and this cemetery here is full. So I'm going to have to address that, empty that 
and I've put some more crematoriums down just to help deal with it. When you do do large expansions, you will have these little death spikes. So it helps to just do this slowly and uh, not build up the dense areas too quickly and just, yeah, take your time with it. And like I say, these trees act as a sound barrier as well. So uh, that helps with the highway. Okay, so this is the area I thought I'd put the university down. I've put a one-ray road going around the back. We can put pathways going off to the little campus areas. So if we go to, where is it, university campus. And oh, of course, much like the park and industries DLC, you have to zone the area. So we have to designate it in order to put the administration building down. So, um, and how much is this? I mean, I've got plenty of money. So if we just go into districts and paint campus area. Now I'm going to paint this whole entire square because I know after previously using this, some of the buildings that you unlock with the university are absolutely huge. And uh, I hope to put some sort of sports stadium down. Now I'm not going to put the American football stadium down because I want to put an actual football football stadium down. But that's um, that's a different thing. I think that's actually a free DLC, so you can actually get that one if you if you look on the Steam Workshop. It should still be free, I believe. It adds a, a lot of the world's greatest football stadiums there. And uh, there we go. That's our university. It looks pretty smart. And um, we need to get some water pipes down, of course. Now, it's never really too much of a bother to add the water pipes, but I remember when the new version of City, um, of SimCity came out and they got rid of this. This was something that SimCity had and then they had it so that you just put the roads down and it fed the power and the electricity. But it'd be surprising how many times you can lay an area down and then forget to pipe it up and then it, it all goes to pot because you forgot about the sewage. So. I like the fact that City Skyline still keeps it. And now with the uh, University DLC and the Park DLC, you can build things off of pathways. So we want to have a lot of people walking around the university. We don't want traffic here. And we're also going to have University dorms here, all sorts. So let's put a few pathways off and we've got the university study hall. So let's put some more paths with decorations down. Just put a little mini roundabout at the bottom there. And of course I've moved the train station, as you see the train's just coming in now. and. That's right next to the university and the built up part of our city now. So that's the study hall. And. Okay. Again, quite a large building. They need power. Just going to line up these paths a little bit better. And if I put a couple of dormitories down, it should all connect up with power. Let's have some more paths coming down to the avenue. Like so. So one here and one here. And the dormitories. So stick one sort of in the middle here and um, we can't fit them at each side but that's okay yeah I like that just going to connect another path up to the back and they've all got power now So some of the buildings that you get as you level up are really quite large. 
and they add various different benefits to the city amongst boosting tourism as well. So we've got the study hall, university grounds keeping. It's just a little building that we could shove. Um, I don't know, perhaps just here would be okay. Just off the one way road. We can go and keep our university campus nice and clean. Clean up after all them students. And that's the fiscal club. Just somewhere to discuss sports. Okay. And the Liberal Arts Administration building, we can't actually stick that one down because we've got our main university. And I think that is about as much as we can do for the time being. We have to let some students attend. And the way that this works is it works on a yearly basis. You have to make academic works. So according to this, we need um, two work, academic works. So it's going to take two years. Uh, we need 500 students and a campus attractiveness needs to be 200 or above, which it will be when we put some sort of sports down and uh, we can increase our students as well once we delete the other university we can get them coming here and if we put our sports down as well that's going to increase the attractiveness as well okay so later on in the game it might be my intention to put down a big football stadium so i don't want to go for the american football stadium and it is a really large grand building but I think we'll go for basketball because I don't want to have football stadiums and where should we put it now I've just got the train station if we put it just like literally next to the train station in between the roundabout I'll we'll put some parking down and again this is going to really over time increase tourism so yeah, I'm thinking just here. Fantastic. Okay, I like it. I think I'll get a road just coming off the back and I think we can change our team's name and colors and all of that sort of stuff. And uh, all of this stuff is actually going to cost a little bit of money. It's going to take my money down for a little bit. I'm actually going to let them have free education, get more citizens come in, but in the long run it'll work out. And we are making quite a bit of money from our industries anyway, so we can afford to kind of sponsor our team here. And hopefully get a decent basketball team. So I'll just have a road coming up here. And... I want to put some uh, parking down as well. It's one of the things none of the DLCs ever ever add, and it is literally the only asset I do add in this whole gameplay is uh, this car park. Uh, no, not this one. Although that's good. I've got a couple of car parks and a multi-story thing. It does help out, and uh, I think when you look from the sky, you always see car parks. So. Some buildings can have them. You probably notice a little bit of parking outside this stadium, but I don't know. I just think you stick a few of these down like this. It kind of just adds to it. So you imagine a lot of people come into this basketball arena. And instead of a road, because I don't want to change the shape of the roundabout, we just put a, a path coming around the back here. I think there is a crossing just near that roundabout as well so anybody coming from the university got a path to walk down I'm just gonna move it that is the I do like this mod you can just straighten out your paths a little bit better okay so we need to let our university build up it's got to do a couple of works of art, let us say, in 
regards to the basketball arena, I can't see any mascots or anything yet. Maybe that was a expansion. I can't quite remember, but um, I know the football stadium definitely had it. You could change your team name. They can change the colour, but I kind of like blue. Let's go for a, a lighter blue like that. So that's the colour of our team. Let's hope we can get some wins in. Okay. So we need to expand a little bit more and hopefully get some more students coming in. As you can see, the attractiveness is there. We just need to get to 500 students. So if we knock the other university down, that's going to get some more students coming in. And let's say I've got the train line right next to it now. So we should have people coming from the, the other side of the city to visit here. And they can stay here as well at the dormitories. So this should all work out. And uh, hopefully we can just get to the next level. But yeah. So we've already got some grounds keeping down. I'm sure there was something else that we could put down. Ah, the School of Law. Right. Um, let's put this building down. Oh, this is huge. So we can fit this. I think we'll put this... Hmm. Well, it might fit in just in front of the actual university itself. Okay. I'll check that out, it's huge. Okay, anybody studying law? Can go here. And can we get a road perhaps coming round here? Ah, it's just slightly too big to match up with that. But we could... We could make that into a pathway. Really liking that. It kind of fits in well. Um, so let's bring the road. I don't want to hit the roundabout. So let's just bring it there. So there's a junction there. And instead of a road, we'll just have the university path coming across like so. Perfect. Got to remember this is still a campus. We don't want loads of traffic coming through here. And going around the back of the university, that's a one way. So that's kind of like another roundabout. So we should only get a little bit of traffic coming in. Okay, so we just need to wait till the end of the academic year. Come up with some academic works. And uh, it's going to couple, take a couple of years to do that, or a couple of in-game years. And then we should be able to put some more buildings down and expand again even further. Okay. And I'm liking them buildings there. They're kind of the economy large residential buildings. They look pretty cool. Some of them got grass roofs and really funky looking builds. But I think our death problem has sorted out now. Things seem to be ticking over. All right. And I like what we've done with the railway there. I much prefer that. There was a bit of wasted space I felt between the highway. I'm going to change the roundabout further up. But in the time being, I'm just working on this sort of square here. So let's let this level up a little bit. So in order to encourage some more students into our university, I'm actually going to get rid of this one. This one's actually got 330 students here, so I'm going to knock it down. It's not needed anymore. Okay, let's get rid of all of this. And does that fit? It does. Let's stick this panda sanctuary down here, right next to the zoo. Think of much else, it's a touristy area. I've not used this one before, I'm not actually quite sure which one DLC it came with, it's just one of the unique buildings. Um, almost fits in there if we put some trees, not some shrubs. 
just along this avenue like so looks like some somebody's trying to get a building in along the side here we don't want that just dezone it and again it's just another tourist attraction hopefully we'll get some visitors to these hotels now now the panda sanctuary is in competition with the big zoo across the road plenty of reason to visit this city and I'm just going to dezone that it didn't quite fit in but it almost fits in so I think just putting a few trees down here helps it settle in nice so I tend to do the detailing off camera and uh, wait until things have built up slightly so this space is a bit work wasted but we can put some trees in here like so somewhere for him to go and walk the dogs or something okay ah and our zoo has leveled up we have now got a flamingo enclosure and elephants fantastic well we're gonna have to put the elephants in because I love elephants they never forget like me now uh, what was I doing oh yeah the uh, panda sanctuary okay um, yep that's down so we will stick some more stuff down on our zoo okay um, where are we so parks and city zoo where's the elephants at We've still got some more stuff down so the sea life enclosure I don't think we're going to be able to use that here um, we could put that in another park maybe if we end up doing a water area or something somewhere but we've got to get the elephants down okay perfect like it now it's becoming a proper zoo okay well I think the deer park's gonna have to make way for the flamingos kind of running out of space here let's change some stuff around because eventually I'm gonna fill this in with trees um, but I would like to get the lions in here so and that's the final unlock I thought I'd had plenty of space God, I can see it just snap in the middle there we go it's just trying to clip onto all of the pathways there we connect this up something like that okay and maybe one more just here so I can better organize stuff if I, perhaps if I was to move them restrooms just there out into the corner that would be a big space here that we could use so although the deer park that's not essential so yeah we just sort of we'll just have to manage some of these bits a little bit better Okay. Well, we've got a free star park. Or a free star zoo, rather. And like I say, because we've got to wait to level these things up before we can drop everything down, I don't want to put any detailing down. But there we go, there's the flamingos. Quality. I like it. Okay. So we need to get some more levels on our university, hopefully get some more buildings down on that. Okay, to get things moving, we're gonna have to put some more industrial down and I'm kind of reluctant to put anything industrial down. So now that we've got our university, I'm actually gonna put some office blocks down. We can put them and they're not polluting. 
you do need educated citizens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of key this side off and have a little pocket of dense residential and a big pocket of office buildings. And I think we're going to have to do a little bit of terraforming. But it kind of looks much nicer when you key off some of the areas where you're going to put these big buildings down. And I think I might have a pathway running along the outside of this one. I'll just bring that down just towards the beach area here. And then on the end of it, I can sort of shove some rocks or something. Because it doesn't need to carry on down there. Because I like the beach. And this area here. I can't go out of the zone. And I'm not so sure if we're going to be buying that area. But let's just put a, a key wall on along this bit here. Somewhere just down to about here. And I think we need to do some terraforming with that. It looks a bit like it's gone a bit wonky. So I'm going to have to have it definitely slopes down. So I think I'd like to put a path around the outside of the key somewhere to walk around the outside. So I'm going to level that off. If we left click on the wall and then right click. That brings it to that level. So let's get rid of that weird bit just here. That will look completely weird if we just go and level the whole thing off here. It does need to come down in a step. It does need to follow it. So let's put a nice decorative path along the side of this. Somewhere to walk in front of what's going to be our offices. And probably around here I'll put the residential. Okay, so we're just going to follow the lines that we've already got. And do some box-like building. Gonna hit the avenue just here. And I wanna utilize as much space as possible, bring that right down to the edge. And curve it round, I guess. Save as much space as we can so we get as many offices in this area as we can. So let's say industry is just right up at the moment. Okay. So I'm going to make all of this office buildings. And we'll give it its own district. Just put straight paths on. But uh, no specialization, just normal office buildings and normal dense residential. Come down here like so. So we're going to maximize all the space that we can use there and let's have another road coming along following the pathway and I think we'll make this a dense residential zone that should add a few more citizens to our city and everything starts to come together when you come to the edge like this. So let's use this dense office building stuff here. This is going to fill up pretty quick. And this will get more people moving in and more people attending our university. And I'm just going to paint it. As you can see, it's not got any district, but I'll just give it its own little district here. It's not going to be specializing in tourism or anything like that. This is just a working little area. this with offices and we could do tech buildings but I've got a different idea for the tech build because they are really really tall skyscrapers and yeah I think they are, that'll look nicer in the sort of center we we'll create a nice skyline that way but let's let this all build up
Okay, that's exactly what I was waiting for, the academic end of year report. And it looks like we created an academic work. With it, we've unlocked the university cafeteria, a fountain, a gymnasium, and the university outdoor study. And with the academic works that we created, these are things that we can store in museums and they open up different unique buildings later on in the game. And you don't just have to put them down on the campus, you can put them anywhere. And here you can see the offices have come along quite well. Got some dense office buildings and that's satisfied a little bit of the demand for the industry that we've had. So things are ticking along quite nicely. I have had to put a second power station in over here. So I've just gone for another one of the solar updraft towers. I really do want to change this industry area. Our ore's doing quite well, but that bit there, I'm not happy with it. It was just there to get us started in the game. So I will create a better industrial zone. Again, we had a forest fire and uh, I can't put them in because I haven't got the, the helicopters to do so. That's part of the natural disasters DLC. And uh, if a fireman can't reach that area, it can't put the fire out. So it, it just uh, keeps the fire burning for a little bit. Okay, so we've got some new buildings unlocked. Um, so club. Now I've already put this uh, down just on the corner already. Um, University outdoor study. Okay, what are we looking at? That's quite a large area, like a park area. We'll put that right there next to the roundabout. Yeah, I'm liking that. Right outside the law building. We can go out there and study in the park. And I'm sure we opened up the university gymnasium. Yeah, why not? We can have a gym as well. We might just put that down here, just kind of centrally off the avenue, somewhere near the dorms. All our students can keep healthy. It's going to be a pretty cool university, this one. Okay. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm liking these buildings. They really add something different. Sort of spread them out. It's breaking up the city a little bit. Okay. So shove the calf down. This looks like a large area, so I want to put it somewhere perhaps hmm, perhaps in here next to its main building or I want to actually perhaps stick the fountain down next to the university. Perhaps um, just here, see what that looks like. Mm, yeah, that's okay. So I might move it just a little bit see what that looks like. Okay, so that's the university calf. And let's move this fountain. Um, I was thinking, what does it look like centrally? No, I think I might move it right to the edge and make another pathway. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. And then if we make where are we? Universities or oh, parks? Park with decorations. Got so many pathways. Zoo pathway. I want the university one because I want it to match. It's the one with decorations. That's the one that we've been using. And I'm just going to have to move it there. And we should be able to get a pathway. Yeah, just down the side here. That's brilliant. So we've got one down either side of the fountain. I'm liking it. Just bring that down to here like so. Fountain and a gym. University campus is starting to look really smart. And there's the calf that they can even eat outside. And free education. Oh, it looks like we've got a drunk student there just pulling up on the dorms. <laughs> Um, and ah, we've got our basketball arena. It looks like there's a game going on. I've not actually checked to see if we're winning anything at the moment. 
Right, here we go. We won our last game and there's currently one going on. Managed to generate 35,000 from ticket sales in that last game. So we'll concentrate on our basketball arena, see if we can micromanage it and get a little bit more money from that. It all helps with our university. But that's about all the time we've got for this episode of Complete City Skylines. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you're enjoying the City Skylines content from myself. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.